the Volkswagen Group's operating profit was up on the strong previous year figure at 12.7 billion euros, a new record high. The analysis of the change in operating profit reveals positive effects from volumes, the mix in prices, amounting to 1.7 billion euros in the passenger cars business. Particularly in the first half year, exchange rates had a negative impact on operating profits. Overall, the negative effects amounted to 0.8 billion euros. Improved product costs had a positive impact of 1.7 billion euros. This primarily resulted from optimized procurement services and our systematic alignment of all processes around efficient procedures and methods, as well as the implementation of our modular toolkit strategy. In contrast to the previous year, higher fixed cost had a negative impact to the tune of 1.9 billion euros. This is mainly due to increased depreciation charges as a result of high capital expenditures and higher research and development costs, in particular for new drive concepts. Operating profit in the commercial vehicles power engineering business area was up by approximately 0.2 billion euros compared to the previous year which had been negatively impacted by project-specific contingency reserves. The past fiscal year was dominated by the ongoing difficult market environment and the continuing increased pressure on prices and margins. The Financial Services Division again contributed to the improvement in group operating profit this year. The main change challenges were to be seen in the compliance with regulatory, requir regulatory requirements and the ongoing pressure on margins. Ladies and gentlemen, Return on investment is one of the key instruments used to manage the automotive division. It is essential for us to constantly monitor the efficiency of our use of resources and to uh, judge the success of our innovative and environmentally oriented product portfolio by reference to financial targets. The automotive division achieved a return on investment of 14.9% last year, which, despite the increase in invested capital due to earnings-related factors, was above the level of the previous year. We therefore achieved a situation where we could improve both our minimum required rate of return of 9% and our current cost of capital of 7.7%. We also made a positive value contribution to the tune of 5.7 billion euros. The group's growth means a rise in invested capital. This is linked with increased investments in new models and plants and also to the development of alternative drive systems and modular toolkits. In pursuing our strategic growth strategy, we ensure a competitive level and closely analyze the expected returns for all investment decisions. Given the challenging political conditions, the changing social landscape and the fierce competition, our core tasks from a financial perspective will remain to be safeguarding our earnings quality in the long run and pursuing disciplined costs and investment management and focusing on our profitability targets. The return on equity before tax in the Financial Services Division decreased from 14.2% to 12.5%. This was primarily due to the higher capital requirements and the associated stronger capital resources which were required. Let's now take a look at the consolidated balance sheet. At the end of the past year, the Volkswagen Group's total assets amounted to 351.2 billion euros, which was 8.3% up compared to the previous year. This was mainly due to the increase in property, plant, and equipment resulting from the expanded investing activities from the volume-related increase in lease assets and the financial services receivables and uh, from the rise in inventories from on the back of business growth. The group's equity ratio, i.e. the ratio of equity to total assets, amounted to 25.7%. The equity ratio in the automotive division decreased from 
to 39.8 percent to a level of 36.9 percent compared to the previous year. This was mainly due to the acquisition of outstanding Scania shares, the negative effect from the decreased discount rate for pension provisions and the fair value measurement of derivative financial instruments. Moreover, the equity increase implemented in the financial services division also decreased equity in the automotive division where the deduction was recognized. This was partially offset by positive factors, including the hybrid notes issued in March and the capital increase implemented in June 2014 by issuing new preferred shares using authorized capital. How, particularly, however, a positive effect was given by our positive and healthy earnings development. Equity in the financial services division rose by 3.3 billion euros to a level of 17.4 billion euros. Positive contributions were made by the earnings situation and the capital increase by Volkswagen in the amount of 2.3 billion euros uh, at the beginning of the year. The goal of this was to finance uh, business expansion and to meet regulatory capital requirements. The equity ratio was 0.8 percent points up compared to, to the previous year with a current level of 11.3 percent. I will now turn to individual items of our cash flow statement. Growth cash flows in the automotive vision thanks to our robust business model and by our earnings, rose by 1.5 billion euros to 20.2 billion euros. In the working capital, the funds, uh, the risk of funds was uh, lower, uh, down to 1.4 billion euro on year. Uh, due to volume related factors, total cash flows operating from operating activities amounted to 21.6 billion euros, almost 1 billion uh, up compared to the previous year. Investments in property and equipment and intended assets and investment property increased uh, rose by 4.1 percent to 11.5 billion euros. The ratio of capex and sales revenue rose on least slightly year on year, growing from 0.2 percent to 6.5 percent. Thanks to our investment discipline, we remain at a competitive level within our target corridor of 6 to 7 percent. We invested primarily in our production facilities and in new models, which we launched in 2014 and 15, or are still planning to launch this year. Other focuses were the ecological focus of our model range, the growing use of electric drives in our vehicle fleet, and our modular toolkits. Capitalized development costs. which primarily reflect the necessary investments upfront expenditure to comply with environmental requirements and the end in expanding and upgrading the model portfolio increased by 0.6 billion euros to the current level of 4.6 billion euros. Cash inflow from acquisition and disposal to the tune of 0.2 billion results primarily from intergroup sales of MA and Finance International no GmbH to our financial services division. Net cash flow in the automotive division, which is the difference between the cash flow from the operating activities, investment activities, certificate to operating activities, rose by 1.7 billion euros to 6.1 billion euros compared to the previous year, and this certainly is a confirmation of our good and sound business model. In addition, we strengthened net liquidity through two successful capital market transactions. The issue of, a hybrid, of hybrid notes and the successful capital increase by issuing preferred shares boosted net liquidity by 4.9 billion euros net of transaction costs. As I, I've already mentioned, I already mentioned equity, which increased by 2.3 billion euros in the financial services division. The acquisition of Scania shares, and to a lesser extent the additional MANSE shares, tended to lead to a cash outflow to the tune of 6.5 billion euros. At the end of 2014, net liquidity in the automotive division amounted to 70.6 billion euros. The solid liquidity position continues to give us necessary financial strength and flexibility to continue our profitable growth and to s continue 
pursuing our strategy 2018 systematically. I would now like to draw your attention to a new publication. This morning, we published the notice convening Volkswagen Aktiengesellschaft's annual general meeting on May 5, 2015 in Hanover. The agenda among the regular decisions and resolutions contains of the proposal to authorize the Board of Management to issue new non-voting preferred bearer shares. The intention is to renew the authorized capital the authorized capital that expired in December 2014. In doing so, shareholders must be granted preemptive rights. This is standard procedure for large stock corporations wishing to safeguard the flexibility of their financing activities, and it is designed to enable us to continue exploiting attractive financing opportunities going forward. Looking back on 2014, I can say that despite of the continuing difficult market environments, the Volkswagen Group, with its solid business development, is still on a growth trajectory. After tax, the Volkswagen Group generated earnings of 10.8 billion euros for the shareholders of the Volkswagen Aktiengesellschaft in the last fiscal year. This corresponds to a basic earnings of 21.84 euros per ordinary share and 21.9 euros per preferred share. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your kind attention, and I would like to pass the floor back to Professor Winterkorn.